hypoegoic non-entitlement. What on earth is that all about? Well, this week I was doing some reading and I came across an article in the Bulletin of Social Psychology and Personality. And it was titled, Hypoegoic Non-Entitlement as a Characteristic of Humility. Basically, the premise here was that two researchers were recognizing that humility seems to be this characteristic that rises to the surface again and again in all human cultures and religions as something that is desirable, something that we want to see and celebrate in each other. And they wanted to figure out, okay, well, what is humility then? What is it that is perceived as humility in human beings? And what their research showed was that humility is not about downplaying your achievements or about lessening your contributions. In fact, the most humble people or the people who are perceived as the most humble are quite aware of what they have to offer to others. Instead, what is perceived as humble by those around us is our sense of non-entitlement that we know what we have to offer, we know what our contribution is, but we don't act as if we are entitled to privileged or special treatment because of it. And this is incredibly fascinating here when we look back at where we just were in the Sermon on the Mount. Because Jesus has been talking to us about judgment. He's been talking to us about the internal work that we have to do before we can ever begin to help each other. On Sunday, we read the passage where Jesus says, first take the plank from your own eye, then you will see clearly enough to help remove the speck from your brother's eye. And so for Jesus and for these researchers, humility is not about not believing that we have something to offer. It's not about pretending that we don't have a contribution to make to those near us. Humility is about understanding our place in the world, our perspective on the world, our privilege in the world, and not treating it as if that sets us apart. Instead, humility is about using our contributions, our achievements, our perspectives in the best possible way to advantage those near us. To be humble is not to pretend that you have nothing to offer. To be humble is not to believe that you don't have a contribution to make. It is to see yourself in solidarity with all those around you, believing that everything you have to offer draws you closer to them rather than sets you apart. So please understand this. Your humility should never downplay the value and the gifts and the experience that God has given to you in order to help those near you. Your humility should never lead you to downplay your achievements that you're proud of, the contributions that you have made to the world. These are sacred and they're holy and they're yours and you should celebrate them. Your humility should instead lead you towards a solidarity with all people, believing that you are not entitled to any more or any less, but you now have the opportunity to use all of your gifts, all of your experience, all of your perspective on the world to advantage the people who are near you. Never think that you are worth less than you are because you are sacred and beautiful and God has gifted you with incredible things to offer. Your humility is not found in downplaying that and no one around you will think you're humble if you do. What will draw people towards you, what will invite people to see your humility and honor God is when you use everything at your disposal for the best of those who are near you. This is truly what it means to be humble, both in the research of those who are published in the Journal of Social Psychology and Personality and also in the teachings of our Lord Christ Jesus.